Okay, so now we're gonna move to his neck. We have his beautiful mane, which he's very lucky to have. Not every horse can grow a mane this long and thick. And the mane really helps with keep the flies away. Oh boy. Okay, so here we have his neck. Now you may think that the spine would run straight to his back like this, but it actually goes down before it comes back up. There's a lot of muscle in the horse's crest, which is the top of their neck. This line here is called the jugular groove. This is where a vet would put an IV. Next, we'll move down to his chest. And then back up to his shoulder, which the point of the horse's shoulder is actually down here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how the shoulder moves. Now it's very important that the horse has freedom to move their shoulder. That's why saddle fit is very important while we're riding, but we'll get into that later. Okay, so we'll go down to the horse's elbow, which is right here, and I can show you. So that's his elbow. Next, we have the horse's forearm from the elbow down to the knee. And then this is the cannon, which is a big bone Good. And we have the extensor tendons in here as well and the flexor tendons. Okay, so the next joint is the fetlock. which is kind of like an ankle. And then we have the long pastern, which is between the fetlock and the hoof. So this is the long pastern. And inside is the short pastern, but we can't really see that. So next we have the coronary band. And then the horse's hoof. So let me show you the mobility. And how the joint works. Okay, so we have the hoof. And with the hoof, we have the frog, which the purpose of the frog is to pump the blood back up through the horse's leg. So it's important that the horses can move and walk because they're designed to go miles and miles and miles a day. And Scout recently got his hooves done, so that's why they look so clean. Okay, so we have the bulbs, the bars, the white line, which Scout has a little bit of white line separation. That's when this groove starts to develop and that's typical for him. We have the hoof wall and the sole and the toe. Okay, next we'll move to the horse's back. The highest point of the horse's back is the withers. And then down the horse's back we meet 
the croup. And then we have the horse's hips, which this is his pelvis. And then here are his hips. Okay, so his hip joint is here and then connects back to his stifle, which is another joint, very important joint. Okay, we have his belly, which I don't know if you know this, but a horse actually has a belly button. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, we have their flank, which is a very sensitive part of their body. They're very protective of the flank, typically. We have his tail. Something interesting I want to show you about a horse's tail. See how long the hair is, but the tail is actually only this long. There's the tip of his tail, right there. Okay, so next I'm gonna move down his legs. We have the stifle, the gas skin, the hock, which is another joint. The cannon, the same as the front. The fetlock. The long pastern. Inside is the short pastern. The coronary band. And the hoof. 